Hey, what up? This is Matt Stone talking about single moms today. Yeah, baby. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, there's a lot of stuff on the internet uh, bashing single moms. Like, I see dating advice of, pertaining to single moms, and it usually starts with something like, run, run away as fast as you can. And uh, yeah, I've had a really great experience with it, and I have uh, some tips about how to do it well. And I think I can make a decent case for why you might want to do it, or at least how you could make a decent assessment of whether, uh, you know, going after a single mom is right for you. To start, uh, I'll get a couple of, uh, you know, chauvinistic comments out of the way, and then we can get into it. The first is, uh, you know, single moms, you know, there's a, <laughs> there's a much higher, you know, single moms have, uh, they've kind of flooded the market. There's a lot more single moms than there are guys looking for single moms. So, you know, uh, you have an opportunity there to, uh, you know, kind of, kind of go above your weight class there a little bit. Like you should be able to attract a higher quality, better looking woman. Uh, if you go for a single mom versus you go for, uh, you know, just a regular, uh, single lady, who uh, has got, you know, everything going for her <laughs> and, and nothing that, uh, you know, a bunch of men would find undesirable. So immediately there, you can definitely leverage that. We won't get into, you know, you know, going crazy with it and like uh, going to a developing country or something to try to find a single mom. Um, there are lots of them in those countries, but... That's another topic for another day. Uh, probably one I'll never get into, but um, that is an option. I do watch a lot of 90 Day Fiance, and uh, I get to see, uh, I get to witness a lot of that firsthand. That's one of my guilty pleasures watching that show, by the way. Um, secondly, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, single moms. Um, you know, they're kind of in a situation where they, they really need somebody, they need you, and you know, they're a little older, more experienced typically when it comes to relationships and sex and these kinds of things. So, you know, you might find that single women are, I don't know, a little friskier, a little, uh, you know, more liberal, uh, with their sexuality, perhaps. I mean, my experience, you know, my, my, single mom girlfriend now wife i mean she found crevices that i didn't even know i had you know what i mean but uh anyways uh that's that's another perk so anyways got those out of the way let's talk serious now about dating a single mom and uh entering the world of single momery and having you know potentially a step kid uh so i started uh dating my single mom uh, when her kid was five and, um, yeah, I had some major struggles at first. So like a lot of guys, you know, everything was fine. And then, uh, you know, on the first date and then it was like, yeah, I've got a kid, you know, she's five. And it was like, what? <laughs> you have a kid, you know, I, I still, uh, you know, I grew up in an area where, uh, let's just say that a lot of the people I know went to high school with, you know, either never had kids or had very few of them, or if they did have kids, they waited a long time to have kids. So, you know, for me, it was like, you have a kid, you know, who the hell has a kid? I mean, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. So that was kind of a shocker. I didn't really know how to handle that. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a big responsibility. And I was very restricted in what I was able to do, you know, because the kid has to see dad every weekend. Um, that's not the case with all single moms, but uh, that was the scenario for me. You know, dad was still in the picture. He had, you know, custody on the weekends. And so basically we had to be, you know, I was signing up for if I was going to be in this relationship, I was going to, you know, we we're going to be stuck living within 100 miles of, of of dad, um, you know, until age 18. So I was looking at a over 12 year long road. So that was really tough. Um, I see a lot of stuff online about how, you know, if you step in, uh, and date a single mom, you're not going to have any parenting authority whatsoever. Um, 
I don't know. I think that really depends on the situation. Uh, it depends on it depends on you and how you are. It depends on uh, the woman you're with and how the woman is. Uh, I think you know the the single mom that I chose uh, had and has a lot of respect for me and my ideas about things, and we were able to have discussions and. And uh, yeah, I was able to be very influential in the parenting and uh, I felt very empowered as a parent and got to be very involved in that. I didn't feel neutered at all. And um, yeah, I have very different thoughts and feelings about parenting though. Um, you know, I don't really believe in the dictatorial parenting style with a lot of punishments and traditional parenting type of mentalities and approaches. So. You know, parenting for me was mostly just having a lot of fun, being really close friends. Uh, still to this day with her daughter, age 18, we're like best buddies. We watch shows together every day. We talk about things. Uh, we, you know, we spend most of the time of our time together. So we're really, really close, really close friends. And that's rare. But a lot of that, uh, you know, kind of fear that you're going to be this person there who doesn't have any authority in the parenting situation, that could certainly happen. But um, yeah, so I would say make sure that, you know, you've, you put into some thought about what your beliefs are about that and that you're having discussions with the mom about it and that your opinions are respected and uh, that you know you're not just you know being treated like someone who has no say uh, secondly you know the, the age of the child matters a lot you know if you come in with the kid over age 10 or so um, it is really tough for you to step in to that role and be liked I do think that step parents and stepchildren are kind of like natural born adversaries and enemies. Uh, my dad in particular, you know, he, his, his mom remarried and he ended up, he ended up moving across the country to live with someone else, you know? And then the person, it was like an aunt or something and she got married to some guy while he was living with her and he ended up moving out there as well. So it's really tough to bring in a man and, um, and then there not be uh, a lot of tension between the man and the child. But again, I think that can be overcome with the type of person you are. You know, if you're, you know, high spirited, happy person, supportive, positive, all those things. And uh, you have, you know, different ideas about parenting. It's not all about yelling and discipline and punishments and rules and those things, all of which I think you'll find if you're open-minded enough to be completely obsolete when applied, uh, you know, correctly. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's that's kind of a little bit that I have to say, you know, about that situation. But for me, it was extremely rewarding to have what is now a great friend of mine, and I've been a big role in her life, helped her start a business. And uh, yeah, she's 18. Uh, has a bunch of money saved up, you know, it's kind of on the same program that I am, you know, works 15 minutes a day to make, uh, you know, more money than, than most people make, uh, even in their twenties. So yeah, that's pretty cool that I was able to do that. And that's one of the things that makes me a passionate believer in, in dating a single mom. Secondly, you know, I never wanted to have kids of my own. I decided that really young in life for, you know, reasons I'm not going to talk about now. But, um, you know, I just didn't want to do that. And uh, but being a parent is really great. You know, missing out on being a parent completely. I think you're missing out on something really powerful. The powerful thing about being a parent, even as a step parent, is that it really takes the focus off of yourself, you know, um, being focused on yourself and what you want and being always thinking about your life, yourself, your career, what you like, what you don't like, being focused on yourself all the time is a long-term recipe for, you know, it's a recipe for long-term unhappiness, emptiness, lack of fulfillment. When you take the focus off yourself and put it on somebody else, you know, magic happens over time. So I was a little bit, you know, that transition was tough. You know, I was 
I lost a lot of myself and my independence and the things that I wanted in life. And I wrestled with that for years, years before I finally realized that, you know, my girlfriend's happiness, my single mom girlfriend and her daughter, that that their happiness in life and their success in life actually mattered to me more than my own. So <clears throat> when I had that realization and, and then I was able to commit fully and give them my everything and make sure their lives were, uh, that I could make their lives better in any way that I possibly could. And once I got into that state of mind, I, f I found it to be just incredibly fulfilling. The journey has been, has been amazing. And, uh, they, they've been able to do things they never would have been able to do without me. Uh, they have a totally different mentality and way of looking at life that they wouldn't have had without me. I see the impact that they've had. And it's really important to me as a man, uh, what I consider to be, uh, you know, things that men want. Now, not all men are the same, but I think men, we do value, generally speaking, self-sacrifice, uh, giving to another. And the reason we have heroes that are firemen and, uh, you know, soldiers in war and all these kinds of heroes, superheroes and whatnot, you know, it's because of the hard things. It's because they put their lives in danger. They risk it to save another, to benefit another. Selflessness, bravery, uh, you know, all those kinds of things. You know, as men, we, we look up to that and uh, we, we see heroism in that and we want that. And so I, the greatest thing for me about dating a single, uh, single mom and, you know, eventually marrying her is that uh, they, they need me and I feel needed and feeling needed is super important. You know, you do get to feel like a hero every day. And of course, you could just date a woman and you could have kids with that woman and that would be fine. But, uh, you know, I'm not looking to add to the 8 billion people that are already in the world and there's a lot of single moms out there who really need somebody who can, you know, make their lives a lot easier, make their the future and the forecast of their lives start to take on a much rosier picture. Um, obviously, every child needs two parents in the house with, you know, different thoughts and different behaviors and uh, different mannerisms and different ideologies that that provides a richness from you know that they get to draw a lot of experience from that helps shape and mold them in a healthier more balanced way than just one person lord knows if i raised a kid just by myself that kid would be pretty warped it's really nice to have a two-parent household and have some balance and and those things are important too so without droning on i would just say um, it's not for the faint of heart you have to be that type of person who wants to be a hero. You have to have that mindset like a soldier. I'm going into this not because it's the easiest thing, not because it's the best thing for me personally. It's not. It's obviously not the selfish thing to do. You have to really get off on being selfless, being a hero, and going in and putting other people's lives ahead of your own. And you have to be a person who is, you know, is not not petty, you know, not bothered by there being some other guy who, uh, you know, the kid sees every weekend. Um, that's a challenge, but, you know, you have to have a mentality to rise above and get through all obstacles in life uh, without giving up. And, and I think a lot of men want that. And I think you'd be surprised at how fulfilling it really is when you face those challenges, you overcome it, you endure, and you make it year after year after year after year and you become a significant you know person in, in uh, these people's lives and um, yeah you get to sit back and and feel the satisfaction of knowing that that you made a, a positive contribution in someone's life oh and by the way those someone's just happen to be the people you love more than anybody in the world and the people who love you more than anybody in the world and uh, nothing is more special and fulfilling than that if you think um, you know, uh, taking the easy route is going to be more fulfilling. I think you might find that the opposite is true. You know, the, the harder it is and the more you have to sacrifice, the more rewarding and fulfilling it's going to be in the end. So don't be bashing single moms or taking the easy way out. There's some many benefits from being with a single mother and, um, 
in the end, I think you'd be really glad that you stepped in. And uh, you might also just get really lucky and have people who, you know, they do really respect you and love you. And, uh, you know, I've got a kid who's basically my best friend now. So I got I got some great gifts out of it. And I hope uh, you do, too, all of you out there who feel like giving uh, feel like giving the single mom a ride.